downtown Zurich. <laughs> hey. Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. Eleven thirty a.m. December eleventh, twenty fifty-four. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome: train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. It's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, we're hot. Crack the floor with these assholes. Contact! Uh, 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 uh. 
All right, use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Hack in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
operator so we can get inside. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator was probably your drop. Come on, let's go! Fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use remote hijack on those turrets. Hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in. Tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. And D&I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside, at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. Botch assault, man. It took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. We haven't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch.
Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy-duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Out come. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now, pick up the trail. I'm starting to like you. sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling the guy, too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. Charge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead dead. Believe me, 
This is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. to like you. The more abilities you have 
have, the more fun you can have. Try switching between them. You got this. Smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. Adjust your optics. You can see through smoke just as well as these grunts. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking in the darkness. That's how you get shit done! Make a soldier out of you yet. Looks like they got into the water treatment plant through here. On me! Keep your fucking head down. You may be a badass, but you're not immortal. Bullet to the head will still get you a date with your maker. Right. Hounds on the work floor. 
That's how you get shit done! Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. robots. They brought the explosives on board. You want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me. They'll consider you as much. Take down as another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots.
this shit was real, you'd be killing civs left and right. You got hostiles, climbing up the side. Wave to take out a group of hostiles at once. Type is in the car right below. Maybe shielded by six inches of CNT, but that won't mean anything when the bomb goes off. You better pick up the pace. thing's booby trap. If I hack it, try to move it, or detach the car, it's gonna blow. It's too much! Even with the computer in my head, there's not enough time! It's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev train. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... Stop it and get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes, you have to let go. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. The increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. 
As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. <laughs>